One of the most common questions we receive is a family member stating that they've been contacted either by their child's school or by their command saying that a coworker um, have tested positive and that made them a first degree exposure. So if that person has symptoms, we do um, recommend an isolation status. If they don't have symptoms, um, they would still be on a 14 day quarantine, which would change if they did uh, become symptomatic within that 14 days. So quarantine basically means that you can move freely about your home, keeping your distance from everybody else. You can go and pick up your groceries, pick up your medications through drive throughs Don't become in, in general contact with the um, public. If you're in isolation, you are isolated to your room. Um, minimal contact with anybody within your household. If you do have to have that contact, you're to wear masks, and then you also wanna sanitize um, after bathroom use or common use areas. If you're on 14 days, complete your quarantine and you have not developed symptoms, you're free to go about your daily life and activities um, just as you were, uh, you, you would not need clearance from your primary care manager. If you're on quarantine and develop those symptoms, um, we definitely wanna get you tested. So call the 239 docs. We do the symptomatic review. If you meet criteria, we can set you up for testing. Um, if you do become positive, public health notifies you as soon as they find out, they would give you further guidelines. At that point, then, um, you would have to get clearance from your primary care manager to return back to work. So um, if, you are, if we are planning on testing you, you should receive an email from one of the COVID-19 screening nurses. Within that email, there'll be an attachment called Pass to Test. And so this you would either print out and have a paper copy, or you can utilize your phone. And when you come up to the gatehouse, um, you would not roll your window down. So you, could, so you wouldn't have that exposure, place your phone or the pass and your ID up to the window and they will know exactly where you're going for testing. So yeah, so if you call into the COVID line and we are presuming you have COVID, if you're worried about COVID-19, um, you go on to isolation as soon as you speak with us. And so any appointments you have, future appointments, those would need to be canceled. Um, if it can be handled over the phone, you can call and speak with the nurses and they might be able to transfer that over to a house call, which your provider would then reach out to you via phone and review those symptoms with you. you wouldn't be uh, no, we want you to be patient with us because it is we are seeing a high um, volume um, right now with the phone calls. We close at four o'clock. Typically, the afternoon is a slower time, so you may want to try back. As long as we get that call by the end of business at four o'clock, we can get you tested for the next day, pending it's a clinic working day. Um, we have been seeing an increased volume throughout the week. Typically, Mondays are they do have a little bit heavier call volume, but we have seen those numbers into Friday as well. Um, you can al always utilize secure messaging for the nurses. Uh, we do have a direct contact line between them and us, so if they do have questions and need answers to specific questions, we can definitely uh, reach out to us and we can get those answered for them. Um, but definitely call the COVID line if you're going to want screen for COVID. Thank you.